Microsoft announced the HoloLens last week, and before that the most popular option in virtual reality was the Oculus Rift, and ever since then, people have been making a lot of comparisons between the two of them, and even though they share a few similarities between them, they are aimed at completely different audiences. So without any further ado, here's the Microsoft HoloLens versus the Oculus Rift Differences Explained video. So I'd like to start off by saying that both of these devices are on the completely opposite side of the spectrum, and they are aimed at completely different audiences like I said in the beginning of the video. And the reason why I am making this comparison is because people seem to be misinformed or misled about what each one can do in its own uniqueness. So essentially both Microsoft and Oculus are trying to create a virtual reality experience that takes people into a 3D world, but they both have very different approaches for this. So first of all, the Oculus Rift is designed for people who want a more immersive experience where everything around them is just kind of blocked from them. And that's a really, really interesting experience and it's aimed toward a specific group of people, not a general audience. So it's aimed more for people who want a gaming sort of environment in their virtual reality experience. And the Oculus Rift can also track your head using an external camera and you can also use a controller. But really aside from that, it's a pretty limited experience with what you can do with your body. And on the other hand, the Microsoft HoloLens is a more practical device. And the reason why I say this is because you can use your whole body as an interface and you're not just limited to your eyes or a controller in your hands. It also displays holographic images in front of your eyes which is something that the oculus rift can't really do at the moment and that's something that really sets the hololens apart from the oculus rift so that being said the oculus rift is using two 1920 by 1080p displays which are able to completely immerse the person who is using it while the microsoft hololens is using a single head mounted display which is able to show 3d objects in real time so both of these devices are using an extremely advanced software and even though the Oculus Rift doesn't really have an operating system built in, it's actually able to use an SDK or a software development kit on top of any kernel of any platform, such as Windows, Mac, or Linux. And this makes the Oculus Rift completely cross-platform, which brings us to the Microsoft HoloLens, which is probably going to be running an optimized version of Windows 10 so that it can run holographic images through the use of HPU or holographic processing unit. So in terms of flexibility, the Oculus Rift takes a slight edge here just because you can use it with any platform that you want. But if you really don't care about that, the Microsoft HoloLens is also a pretty good choice. So it's obvious that these are targeted at different audiences. And I think that's actually a good thing because people can choose between an augmented reality experience with the Microsoft HoloLens or a completely surrounding and virtual experience with the Oculus Rift. So hopefully now you have a better understanding of what each one is geared towards and which one would fit your lifestyle in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed the content, definitely keep it locked at Saxper. And I'll see you guys next time.